Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. The project moves into an important new phase today as we convert this Saab 900 turbo from automatic into a five speed. We're getting ready to pull the engine and that means it's a great time to take a look at how your turbocharger works. Saab was extremely proud of its turbocharging system. They had badges and tags and labeling all over the car and well, they had good reason to be. Saab was a pioneer in the turbocharging of everyday automobiles. And let's take a look at how that worked in the Saab 900. So here's the path that your air would take through the turbocharger. First, it comes through the air filter. The outside air is filtered. It is fed through some of the piping and ductwork here at the front of your engine over to the turbocharger. It is spinning from the force of the exhaust gases, turning an impeller or a turbine that forces air through the system now at higher pressure. As it's come through this system, that air has also picked up heat. As it's compressed, it picks up heat, and just being around these hot components in the engine has picked up additional heat. So to solve that problem and allow the fuel to carry, or the air to carry more fuel at a denser level, uh, it passes through what is essentially a radiator. It's called the turbo intercooler. So, the hot air comes through the intercooler, it is cooled down to carry more fuel into the cylinders and then it passes through the mass airflow sensor, through your intake manifold, past the in fuel injectors which do their thing and squirt fuel into the mixture and then into the pistons, into the cylinders where the pistons compress, the spark plug fires and your engine then produces power. So the output gas is collected through the exhaust manifold. It comes to the opposite side of the turbocharger where it provides the force to spin this impeller, which completes the cycle. This is a turbocharger for a Nissan, but the principles are basically the same. So this rotating turbine pressurizes the intake air that passes through it, sending it out at high pressure. Now let's reverse it to the exhaust side. And here you see the turbine that is spun up by the exhaust gases. Now our cars, just like this one, have what's called a waste gate. When the system senses that there is too much pressure for the engine, this gate pops open and lets some of that exhaust gas escape out the tailpipe instead of sending it through the turbine. Turbos do wear over time, and one way you can tell is if you get a big puff of blue smoke on startup. That could be a sign that the, the seals in your turbo are beginning to fail and it's letting oil get into the system and causing that smoke on startup. But there is another symptom, and I take a listen. I think I've got it. Can you hear that? As I spin up this turbine, it seems to be coming in contact with the housing. Yeah, I don't think that's good. I think that goes into the category of a problem that we'll just have to address on another day because our main goal right now is to get this engine out and bolt on a five-speed transmission. Hope you'll be watching as this project moves along. Subscribe if you want to be updated as videos are posted. A like and a comment is always a good thing, and I appreciate all your suggestions. They're very helpful. We'll see you next time.